I'm Soulmass218, and I'm going to be doing an unscheduled stream because I feel like kind of showing off Neon Beats and explaining exactly what's going on in this game as far as how I get the times that I'm getting with it. Uh, I'm not as fast as the world record, obviously, but I feel like if I can explain exactly what I'm doing, it might benefit people for getting a time closer to the 15xx range. So I'm going to kind of play level by level and uh, try and explain different things as I go along. Sorry. And uh, I have my inputs display on screen, so that should hopefully help out. <laughs> I am second place, but I'm not as fast as world record. So if you're watching this, you're probably already aware of uh, what Neon Beats is. It's a rhythm platformer. If you're interested in speedrunning it, these are a lot of the more advanced tech that you will want to look at if you want to improve your runs. But I do recommend looking at like the, the end level stuff and the, the world record if you want to see like the very best gameplay, the stuff that I can't even do. Because it's really cool looking and that's where I picked up some of the stuff that I learned. Z and Big, I'm glad you're both here. <laughs> See, I think Z is better on controller, and um, yeah, and I, I think it's just different for everybody. Whatever is most comfortable for you. It's very input heavy, so whatever is feels like, um, just for anybody in general, whatever feels like is gonna be the best as far as input control for you, the most precise inputs is the best controller to use. There's so few inputs that you need. You've got left, right, and the X button. Um, it's just to jump. So if it's only three buttons, you can do it on a, on a keyboard fairly, fairly easily. Let's jump into the tutorial though. Not much to really talk about until we get past this first bit here. There is a strategy here that uh, top level runners use that I can't really do, but there is one where you jump off of this corner in a certain way like that, and you can hit this platform right here to get up to this other edge faster. It's not something that I practiced, but it is the fastest way to get up this. Most of us were just going to do this. You want to jump up on the left hand side here that to be fastest it sets you up to immediately go off this to uh the left when you get to the top so instead of going to the right you want to jump to the left and start your wall jumps from there see you're immediately going now here i see people they're doing a thing where they're like dragging themselves down the wall and worrying about jumping to the left like the the tutorial says you should do on the, the, the left hand side of the screen you don't need to do any of that you actually can just jump over here, bounce, and then hold right and fall. All you have to do is just touch the wall and then hold right and fall down, and you'll, you won't hit these spikes. It's the fastest way to get through here. Now for ropes, it's telling me here, oh, you want to swing. Well, as we know, if, the, if you have enough momentum when you hit these ropes, and it's a small enough gap, you don't really need to build up the, the extra momentum of the swing. Another thing is you don't actually need to like hold right. Um, all you gotta do is touch the rope. And as soon as your hitbox is on that rope, as long as you hit the jump button and you're holding right, you're gonna get the, the boost. Uh, so like an optimal boost is you hit the, uh, the uh, X button, the jump button, as soon as you touch that rope and the rope won't even move. Like normally like it'll start moving if you swing on it. But if you get an optimal fling off of this rope, that rope will not move at all. So I touched it a little bit, so it's it's moving a little bit. But what you want to do is just hit the X button as soon as you touch it, and you're going to get your fastest fling and your farthest fling at the top of the apex of your jump. Like that. Here we do want to get momentum, but you're going to see when I, as soon as I touch the second rope, I'm going to hit X and just fling myself across. I don't need to get momentum off of it. 
Same with this one. As long as I'm moving off of these ropes and I'm still going fast, I can just fling right across. Here you're gonna preserve your all of your momentum. You're not gonna keep you're not gonna stop at all through any of this section. And of course the rest of it's pretty self-explanatory. You're just doing the cycles here with these. Now I am gonna exit out to the main menu real quick just because I want to show off the times. Just in case anybody wants to look at like what my best times are in each level. You can see them here. It keep the game keeps track of what your pure PB is for each level. Um, so my sum of best is like a 1504. So in game time, my sum of best, I can get a low 15 if I played a perfect game. These are the times that I have for these levels. Here's my times for the DLC levels. So you're going to want to be shooting for times close to this. If you, if you want to get a, a 15 X. I think I just accidentally clicked level two. Doesn't that let you exit out of levels? I can't remember. I don't think it does. I can just show off level two. Here with these spikes, Actually, I don't even want to show off level two. Hold on, I'm going to exit out of the game real quick. Oh, here it is. Now it's showing up. I knew I could exit out the level. I wasn't ready to talk about level two. Here's level one. Self-explanatory until we get to... You want to minimize the time we're on these. So you're trying to just barely touch the top before you're jumping again. So as soon as you're onto one, you're jumping to the next one. Just barely touching them. Of course, wait until you get across here to jump here. Again, almost every time that you think you need to jump to the right for these these climbing sections, the better way is to jump to the left. Because it's, it's going to put you jumping off of that right wall to immediately be moving this way. And to make sure that you don't hit these spikes here, you want to wait till you're closer to the wall. So if you do it like this, you're never going to hit those spikes. So if you do go too high, you get pretty close to that spike there at the top. So you're going to jeopardize hitting it. See how close I got to it? So it's better to get a little bit closer to the bottom of the wall and be safe. Here you're going to drop down. You don't Ideally, you don't want to touch the wall. Let me get back up here. As soon as it drops, you want, you want to just immediately be holding right. And you should get through on that cycle. Here you see me holding right as soon as I bounce off the wall, and as soon as I touch the rope, I hit the, the jump button and it immediately vaults me to the right. I don't need to swing on that rope at all. It's not in the neutral position anymore, but that's the way it should work. A lot of the rest of this is patience. Um, here you saw I jumped on this one, but if you just keep moving right, you don't actually have to jump on that bubble. You, you'll have enough momentum just to run into it and bounce over this and do a fling over here and this is just patience just waiting for the cycle again self-explanatory here again I I'm kind of aiming a little bit closer to the wall And as long as you're going through the level quickly, you'll normally hit the cycle correctly when you get here. It's not the end of the world if you don't, because you can see it's like goes every second. So you only lose like a second if you miss it. And remember what I said about going to the left instead of the right. Anytime you think you should go right. Going left here immediately gets you up to up to the top. Now you can see how fast I'm moving this way. Just w running. A slight optimization you can see here is you can you can just be running and then hit this to jump you it moves you along faster than if you just are just moving in the neutral position 
So it's another slight optimization to jump off that corner. Here, I'm going to release from one of the walls to save a little bit of time. So release. Like hold right and then back left to grab the wall again so that you fall down quicker instead of just holding onto the wall and falling down. Here, does that reset me? Yeah, I'll do it again. So again, I'm jumping across, release, and then get the rope. The rope's not neutral anymore, so it's not doing the things I want, but y you get the idea. <laughs> now here's a cycle. I bounce off the wall, and then you're going to fling across to get up here like that. It's all one movement. I'll show it again. Didn't quite get it, but if you get optimally, you get straight up here. Now you want to make sure when you jump on this thing that you do it right after the beat so that you have time to get over here and jump up. If you wait too long, bad things happen. So like, see, I jump too late and I try to jump. I won't make the jump because it's already starting to rotate again. So you want to make it go right after the beat so that you're guaranteed to make it over there. Here's the fun room. So, what I'm going to do is, you see there's this wall over here on this side. You've got the yellow booster that's behind this. I'm going to bounce up onto the wall and fall, drag down the wall a little bit, then use my jump off of the wall as my momentum onto the rope. Ah, dang, I didn't mean to exit out. Here, I'll quickly go back in. And just go straight there so you can see what I'm talking about. I'll do the full stage so you can see what I mean about the full stage time. Close to the wall. Also works. But again, if, you, if you're if you comfortable jumping on the left side, it is fast. Gonna get a swing, and then as soon as you touch that rope, you're hitting the jump button. And see, I got here on cycle. We're gonna save time by doing these jumps. Whoops, didn't quite get that, but you saw what I was going for save some time by falling down. We're back here again. Bounce up and across. Momentum. Bounce straight up here. All in one fluid motion. Okay, you're going to see again, I'm going to bounce off of this yellow, the wall, use the momentum to fling across both of these, which I would have been on cycle. You saw the, the top wasn't the spikes there. I could have going, kept going. So again, I'll show it off. See, I'm on cycle to immediately jump up top there. It's just just right for you to be on cycle. Ah, now, now I'm not neutral, but... Let's just finish up the stage. <laughs> we'll go to the next stage. Because that's the end of the stage once you get up to the top up there. Uh, level 2 is next. Now here, I want to make sure I keep moving in this section. Don't die. 
because I want to hit the cycle right here. Just fall straight down. You don't need to do any jumping there. And you want to be on this cycle. So you can immediately get in the box around 22 seconds. If you miss that cycle, you have to wait for the music to cycle through again. So you lose a bunch of time. All of this again, self-explanatory. You're just doing flings. Doing jumps. Now here you want to make sure that you don't jump too close to these edges because you will see if I wait till I'm right by the edge, I over jump this. You want to jump be like when you're in the middle of the platform. And you don't actually need to hit this booster. All you need to do is just land here and then hold left to get the, the arrows. Now you can, if you think you're going to overshoot that bubble there from that swing, you can release a little bit. Just release your direction to slow down your movement in the air. Here again, I just released from the wall a little bit just to fall a little quicker. You can do this swing through here like that. It's very risky though. Um, it's safer just to do the normal, just swinging. But if you want to go really fast, you can swing through there on that second one like that. It's very tight. Now here, this is, um, this is a little difficult to do, but you want, if you want to get a fling off of this rope while it's moving toward you before it stops and then not hitting the, um, the top of it because you want to fling yourself across all these spikes. It's not neutral anymore, so there we go, like that. That way you can catch this cycle down here. I was close enough to catch it, I just didn't jump fast enough. Now here, if you want to optimally do this part, make sure you don't jump too far to the right. You want to land like in the middle. Otherwise, you get, this, you get the small jump off of this and it doesn't propel you all the way up. So you have to jump twice. You, you want to land here in the middle so that you can get the jump from the bottom and immediately get to the top. Yeah, that was late. <laughs> this is just timing. Fall down, jump off that left wall like that. This is self-explanatory. You're just going to fling across and grab this rope. Hold left and then jump through. On these, you can just fall down onto it. You don't actually have to jump at all. Now on these jumps, you want to be closer to the edge. If you hold in the middle on these, you will not make the jump. Let's go ahead and do uh, number three. So you're all fam probably familiar. You don't want to die at the beginning of three because the first like 20 seconds in this auto scroll portion have no checkpoints. So I'm just holding right and making sure I get all the correct inputs. You can jump left on that wall to be a little faster, but that's risky. So it doesn't matter how you do that climb as long as you do it. Here I'm going to stay on the bottom and I want to time my jump so that I'm like right here by this bumper and land underneath here and immediately jump again. It's faster to go to the bottom than the, the, uh, than the top route. I'm actually going to restart the level so you can see how the cycle works. Ah, that's level three actually. So as long as I've kept moving this whole time, I'm going to be on a cycle where I never have to stop moving when I reach that hallway. Top route's great. Bottom route is faster. 
And you're going to see why, because it puts you directly on cycle. So, bottom route. Immediately on cycle. You can just fall and then jump. And immediately into the box. All of it's in a cycle. It's perfectly timed. If you take the top route, you won't hit the box at the right time. You have to wait the cycle. This here is self-explanatory. I go for this jump just to grab the note just because. <laughs> it's free. Here, you don't need to jump. You can just fall. As long as you've kept moving this whole time, you'll hit this cycle as well. This bumper up here, this green bumper, bounce off of it twice. You don't need to go over to that ledge on the right. Bouncing twice on the bumper is much faster than bouncing over to the ledge and bouncing back across the bumper to the left. It's safer to do the ledge strat, but once you get the neutral bounce on top of the bumper, it's, it's, it's no different really. It's pretty easy to do. Level four. I kind of wait till I slide down there to do this, this jump. Everything here is on a cycle. So the way I do this part is I slide down, jump from the bottom, jump to the top, then get this bounce here. And then normally when you're in the level, you need to wait for this cycle at the top. That accidentally clicked the wrong stage again. Level four. So you want to keep moving. Everything is so cycle based. Slide, jump, jump, jump. And then we're going to wait till this cycle starts. You can jump up here and do that. It's not really saving any time. The way this works is you're jumping and then you can immediately jump once it starts turning again on the next beat and grab onto the one that's coming up. So like this. As long as you've kept moving, you'll never have to stop here to grab that. That's gonna be right on cycle as well. Here I'm off cycle as, as what I would normally be on, but you, if you've seen the run, you know how this part goes. You want to drop down onto that bottom platform. And it's going to be on your right hand side as long as you've hit all of these cycles correctly. Oops. <laughs> As long as you hit all the cycles correctly, it's going to be on the right hand side at the bottom when you fall down. So you can get muscle memory as far as exactly where you're going to fall. You're not really guessing. Here again, it's, it's swag to go up top, but you don't have to. You can just wait. Again, I'm right on cycle. See, it's on the, it's down there in the bottom right. I jumped instead of falling directly off, but it would have been directly on the right like this to jump in there. This box opens at 30 seconds, so you have a little bit of leeway as far as getting there on time. You'll normally get there a few seconds before the box opens. You want to take top path here. It's way faster. And then you just, you don't have to jump there. You can just fall right into that first, bu that bumper. And you don't have to jump here either. You just want to fall directly into that. And again, it put me on a cycle, so I was already here for this. You're never going to stop moving here. Fling across both of these as soon as you come out of that portal. 
So again, you're gonna come out of the portal and just hit X as, as soon as you hit each of those ropes. You don't need to like build up momentum or hold right as much. You do need to be holding right, but you don't need to like hold right then hit X. All you have to do is just hit X when you're touching the rope. All of that's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> Let's go into level five. Again here, all you gotta really do is, you have to wait for a cycle here before you jump up. That This is the one part where it just baits you to jump into the spikes. A lot of this stage, I'm gonna take the top route. I like the top route. Bottom route's a little bit slower, I think. Again, you're gonna fall down a little bit just to save time. The less time you spend grabbing onto the wall, slowly sliding down, the better, because you're going to save all that time when you're falling in neutral gravity. This room, I take the time to build some momentum, and you want to hold right when you hit that bumper. Uh, it doesn't let me reset that room, but when you hit the bumper, you want to be pressing right so that it propels you enough to the right. If you're not hitting the right arrow or the, the right input, it's not going to propel you enough and you'll hit the spikes. Now here you have two options. You can either take the bottom path, which I think is a little bit safer, or you can take the top path, which is faster. So I'll show off the uh, the top path. You have the option to change if you make a mistake. You can see the bumpers here. You can hit the arrow in case you you went the wrong way. You can quickly fix yourself by using this these bumpers. But you want to do this top path like this. You don't want to hit that arrow right there. You want to jump across underneath the arrow and then simply go over to the right like this and fall up and then jump into this arrow. That's what makes the bottom route fastest. You're just gonna neutral over to it and then use the other arrow at the top. Top route's faster here. You don't wanna mess with that stuff down there. Straight into level six. This one, a lot of it's just not stopping. Everything's gonna be on the right cycle as long as you keep moving, right? Here you wanna to cut to the left to grab that wall. So let me show that off again. You, you can try and bounce off like this and, and do it slowly, but it's fastest to just fall to the left and jump to the right and then jump to the left again. Again, with all these platforms, we want to jump close to the edge instead of in the middle. That's going to be most of the rest of the game. Here I can just hold right until you hit these arrows, you need to jump.
Now, if you're not, if you're not holding right on that bumper on the left-hand side of the room to get launched over here all the way to this right-hand side, um, sometimes it won't give you the full launch and you'll fall into the spikes below. So when you bounce over to the left hand to get to the second box jump, you want to make sure you're holding right so that box jump propels you all the way over here to the right. This is self-explanatory. We're going to jump here on the cycles. And then all in one motion, jump down. And then here's a, um, a cycle thing where you, you don't want to jump off the walls. You can, but it's slow because see you're dragging on the walls. It's so slow, right? All you have to do is just fall, and as long as you fall in the right manner, you can go straight into the launcher. And again, you're just going to launch over the gap. This is self-explanatory. Yeah, that fall instead of dragging on the wall saves a lot of time. And again, for all, basically all the jumps for the rest of the game, you want to get as close to the edge of the platform as possible, but not too far on the edge, because again, there's no coyote time in this game. Um, and you, you may also overshoot if you're too close, but also you don't want to preemptively jump. You want to just be right in the Goldilocks zone as you're just about to hit the edge of the platform when you hit the jump button. Here you can go for the swag strat, which I know Z likes, of just jumping and immediately grabbing this rope down here. The thing with this, this rope is you want to make sure you have full momentum when you're swinging right. Otherwise, you're not going to make the bounce off of that, um, the bounce off of that orange bumper over to the second, over the second pair of spikes. You're going to hit the spikes. So you want to make sure that you take, you just, Take a second and make sure that you have enough momentum to get through there. I like to just hit this top rope, wait till I go neutral and fall straight down. Puts me on a cycle where I can immediately just go to the right like that. Again here, you can just go off the left hand side. Immediately puts you on the top. So if you're thinking about it, you can do that. Sometimes you'll be on a cycle. All you gotta do is hold right here. You see I have no inputs. I'm just holding right. The bottom's faster that way. You're gonna fling as soon as you go through the portal. Now, if you get that just right, you can double fling, um, but it's extremely hard to get the double fling across through this before it closes. You need to be very, very fast and very tight on the cycle. So I only recommend doing that first single fling because it's pretty much free. Whoops. Jumped too early. Didn't take my advice about waiting to uh, get close enough to the edge of the platform. Now here, I'm holding right, holding right, and I made it through, but another way that I like to do this sometimes is um, just to set up myself on a good cycle. I'll stop for a little bit. So like, I can't really reset it because I've already gone far enough and I'm off cycle, but as they're about to come down, I'll stop and I'll go back a little bit and then come through. It puts me on a cycle where I can just jump straight through these and I don't need to worry about stopping and waiting for them. I'm going to reset the, the stage and redo all of that in one 
one motion so you can see what I mean when I get there. So swing, wait for it to go neutral and fall down onto this one. Get your full jump across. You want to have enough momentum. Keep moving right. Don't have to jump off the left there. Either way is fast enough to make this cycle here. Again, I'm just holding right now. I should make an I make it here in, in time to hit this cycle. Never have to stop moving. Now like this, I'll just go back a little bit. Now if I'm jumping, I should be on cycle so I don't have to stop moving right. The rest of this is free because it's on rails, so you just gotta make sure you get your jumps correct. Again, you want to jump close to the edge, but not too far. See, that one I waited a little bit too long. You do want to be in the middle of that platform. Well, that's level 7. Level 8's its own uh, beast. We can break down level 8 all we want, but ultimately if you want to do the best on level 8, you just want to learn the level and not die. That's that's all there is to it. Again, we want to jump near the edge of any of the platforms, but you're holding... As soon as you hit these, you want to be holding the direction to the left and then to the right. Jump. Jump. Always near the edge of the platform. That one you want to be a little bit early. This jump here sucks. If you miss it, don't feel bad. Same with this jump right here. All right, we're about to hit the ropes. I like to hold right a little bit on each rope to try and make sure that I'm I am setting myself up to go enough right. You can see that the thing doesn't actually catch up to you fast enough. Here, I want to fall down to this and jump across. You've got a platform right there down on your left that you can fall down to. Here, you don't need to jump. You can just fall down and hold right. I could hear, th these come out on the beat with the snare. So if you can hear the snare, you wanna not go over those when the snare hits. This is all just momentum. These last couple of jumps, you can jump right away. This is all, it's, it's just really just on rails. As long as you're holding right and you jump to miss the spikes, you're golden. Jump here. You want to be holding right as soon as you're in here. Otherwise, you will not get the full launch of that platform. If you're not holding right, that box will not launch you up onto the platform all the way. Whoops. Let's do that again. <laughs> I 
You want to be holding the jump button when you hit these, so you get the full jump off of those uh, per uh, orange bumpers. If you're not hitting the j holding the jump button, they might not give you a full jump. And again, you want to jump right off the edge of that last platform. Otherwise, this section doesn't go well. So that's stage eight. We'll do it. We'll do it one more time. Touch those walls as little as possible. Left, right, and jump. And again, all of these are close to the edge. Once you get to this upside down one, jump a little bit beforehand. That's a little too early, but you want to jump a little bit before you get to the edge. Like right there. All right, we'll show off the ropes again. I give myself, again, a little bit of time holding right on each rope. Just a little bit. Ah, uh, it didn't work that time. But it is the best way to get your back up like that. In case you do miss it. Fall down here, again. And then you can just wait for this, or you can jump if you're feeling confident. Fall straight into there. You don't have to jump. You listen for the snare hit. Snare. 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 So you don't... If you're listening for the snare, you don't want to uh, jump into the spike when the snare hits. Normally, all you, all you have to do is just hold left here, and that spike there won't hit you. Again, once you get to these platforms, you can kind of just jump. You've already made enough way that you can just get to the portal. And this all looks so scary, but it's free. Just got to jump there is all. Make sure you're holding right, otherwise you will not make that platform. Make sure you're holding the jump button on these. Again, that's level eight. Easy peasy, right? Enough about level eight though. Going back to these levels, was there anything that um, you remember that you had questions about in these levels? I'm gonna do a quick just like playthrough, I think, but I'll be paying attention to chat. Let me open up live split real quick. Hey, get off my head. I have split. What are you doing? Get off my head. That's better. All right. Everything made sense? Let's do a full playthrough then.
again, all self-explanatory. Jump off the left here. It's going to be your fastest way. Jump over and then fall right. You don't need to jump off. Just fall right. You're going to launch. Swing and fling. Fling across this. And then just time all of your jumps so that you can just keep on moving right. Fling across here. You don't need to jump here, but you can just fall straight off. Normally, you'll have to wait for this cycle. And I usually get a time around 47, between 47 and 49. Depending which cycle I'm at, at the platforms. Again, we're pretty self-explanatory here. Spend as little time on these platforms as possible. Jump to the left. Wait to jump a bit so that you don't hit any of these spikes. And as you fall, you hold right. Whoops, accidentally flung to the right, left. Want to fling to the right. Just hold right, you don't need to jump there. Fling across. Patience. <laughs> I need to remember to be patient. You usually reach that cycle when the spike is placing upwards, so you need to be patient and wait for it to turn around. Again. You should still make it here on cycle. Jump to the left. Jump here. We're going to fall down. Fall down a little bit more and fling across. Wait for the cycle. Bounce up and over. Uh, not quite. But should evolve in one fluid motion. I didn't quite get enough height on that last jump, but... Whoops. You can see the rope barely moved there because I didn't barely touch it. I'm going to use my momentum off the wall again to fling across here and get here. Then I'll just wait on the cycle, because I'm only losing a little bit there. Hold to the right and jump off to finish the stage. Pretty self-explanatory. Don't jump into the spikes. But we do want to keep moving, because we want to be on the cycle. So we can just fall onto this. Jump when it gets to the middle, fall to this one. Jump when it gets to the middle. And then we're on this cycle. That's the cycle we want to be on to get into the box at 22 seconds. I like to keep my timer on the screen. You can turn that on in the options. That's how I know when I'm on optimal paths and what cycles I'm on sometimes. Again, don't go to the edge. You want to jump a little bit in the middle there so that you don't over jump these jumps. Here we don't know to go all the way to the right. We just have to hit the arrow. Fling and then stop a little bit in the air if you need to. So you don't overshoot the bumper. You can fall down a little bit here. I'll go for the risky strat just because. Nope, didn't quite get it. I didn't have the right momentum. But you can do the second fling directly off if you have the correct amount of momentum. Ah, missed that. We want to fling like that so we can catch this cycle here. Fall in the middle and then jump into this. Wait for the cycle. Jump off the left wall. I'm off cycle here, so I'm going to wait and then fling across. You want to hold left and jump. At the top of your arc here, you're just going to hit the wall. You don't need to jump there. You can just fall off onto these. I just did the first jump just because. Don't dance too much because you will jump up out of the block when it hits that drop. And that wastes time. <laughs> So make sure you stop dancing before you get to the drop. Not too much dancing, just enough dancing. 
We like to dance in the elevators, but not when it loses time. Once again, we don't want to die at all here in this first section because for about 20 seconds we have no checkpoints. But also, we want to be on cycle for the rest of the stage to be on cycle. If we never stop moving, the whole stage goes very smoothly. So jump, jump, jump. Bounce over here. Uh, it's just barely too early for that cycle. I'll wait. I was moving a little too fast. I'm going to grab the free note because why not? Not necessary, but you can do it. Fall through here, fall down here, then jump. And go underneath the spikes. Now again, in the last room here, we want to bounce off of the green platform twice. We don't want to have to bounce to the right. We can just do a double bounce. So we're going to swing and jump, bounce, bounce. We'll keep on going to level four. Again, all this very cycle based on the slide, jump, jump, jump. Wait for the cycle. You don't need to jump up top there, it's not necessary. You're gonna get hit, hit the cycle up here anyway, no matter what, with this green platform going up and down. And then fall down to the right. You'll reach here before the 30 second mark when the box opens. Remember, no coyote time, so don't wait too long, but you do want to be near the edge of all of the platforms for these jumps here. You want to jump a little early so you can go up to the top. This is faster on the top route. And then you can just fall into the block. You don't need to jump there. And then fall into the portal. You don't need to jump here. Wait for the cycle, and then just keep moving. When you fall through, just jump across both. Get that double fling. It's free. Don't jump too early there. You want to make sure that you hit that box. Look at that, I even golded my own split there. All right, level five. We're just vibing here. A lot of this is patience and routing. You have to wait here for this cycle. You don't have enough time to do it when you arrive. But we're gonna keep moving on right. I like top route. Here we're gonna jump across and then fall a little bit. Bounce up and across, we need to wait. Casual gold, I know, right? <laughs> Now, as soon as you come out of that box and you're holding right, you want to make sure you hit the jump. Otherwise, um, yeah, bad things will happen. You're going to miss that platform. I'm going to arrive on the cycle here where I need to wait. 
And again with this one, I'm gonna get my swing. As soon as I hit the box, hold right. Otherwise you won't get the full launch. And then the bumper, again, you need to be hitting the jump button for the bumper to give you the full jump. I'm gonna take bottom round here just because it's safer. And I didn't show it off before. You can just fall down. Top route. Don't overshoot this. Release if you need to. Again, we're going to keep it moving. Level six. Again, a lot of level six is just not letting go of the right trigger. <laughs> You're going to keep on moving right. Didn't quite make this cycle. This cycle's so tight, but you can make the cycle with that box if you have super optimal movement. Just barely. Don't need to jump. Don't need to jump. Jump here. Remember, hold right. Otherwise, you won't get the full launcher over to the right side like that. Jump as soon as you get here. Fall so that you go in between these. Whoops, accidentally jumped that wrong. <laughs> there we go. Fling across. And then time these jumps correctly. These are just self-explanatory. Do some dancing in the elevator. We've got some time here. Just make sure you stop before you get to the end. Keep on going. Again, I find it safest to just jump here, let it go stiff a little bit so that it can get me on a good cycle where I can try and get this jump with enough momentum. I made it through. Remember, just keep on holding right. Keep on holding right. I didn't quite make the cycle, but usually you'll be right on cycle. It's still fastest to just take the bottom route there. I'm going to fling. Jump on the edge there. Don't jump too early. Again, I'm going to pause a little bit and then go. It should set me up on a cycle where I can just keep running. Yep. Up. Oh, I got off a little cycle there. That's fine. 
As long as you recognize that you're off cycle and you don't jump into those spikes, it's for the best. Otherwise, you gotta reset that whole room. Patience. Pay attention to what cycle you're on. Listen to the music. Jump in the middle of that platform. All right, let's finish it up. Try not to touch the sides here. Left, right, jump. These are all jumping toward the edge until you're upside down. And jump a little bit before. Here you can just hold left. Oh no, I jumped a little bit early on that one. That's fine. Again, we're just holding left. Now right. Jump through that. Ah. Uh, I'm hitting that spike. That's not nice. There we go. I think I was jumping too early. Jump here. That was close. Jump here. Remember to hold right just a little bit before you jump on each of these ropes. If you want safety, especially if you're resetting it like this. I'm going to fall directly down to the left. Oh, come on. Give it to me. And then I'm here for this platform. Just wait for the platform. You can fall down here. Don't need to jump. Listen for the snare. Whoops. <laughs> Move a little bit and then the rest of these just keep jumping. Here, all you gotta do is just jump when you see the spikes coming. Very easy. Make sure you're holding right. See, I wasn't quite holding it. Hold the jump button so you get your full jumps off of these. So, I made some mistakes in there, so not sub 16. But you can see uh, it's a low 16 in game time. And you saw where I made my mistakes. There were quite a lot of them. But that's still. This is how you're going to get a 15 if you want it. Got to incorporate all of these strategies if you want to get the 15. Because you're going to end up losing time in the run like I did. Thanks for the GG's. That's going to be it for me as far as the, um, the tutorial. I went through every stage one by one. I also did a full playthrough for you. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know. Spud, thank you for the GGs. If you're just dropping in, I just finished recording this tutorial showing every stage, how to do everything the fastest way that I know how to do it. And I just did a full playthrough, which was a low 16 with a lot of mistakes, showing that 
if you want to get that 15 time, you're going to expect to make mistakes. You want to make sure you're hitting all of these strats. Otherwise, it's not like you're going to get a 15. Deathless level 8 helps a lot. <laughs> hey, Big. Welcome back from work. That was a pretty good run. I was I got a a gold split during the uh during that tutorial run. What time is it? Quarter after eight here. I'll do one more run. Again, with just some talking through the run. Saying what I'm doing as I'm doing it, like I did last time. Self-explanatory tutorial. Jump off the left here. You're going to jump off this wall and then hold right and just fall down. Fling across. Hit the X button as soon as you're on top of these and you'll fling. You don't need to hold right at all. I mean, you're holding right, but you don't need to hold right while you're on the rope. All you have to be doing is just hitting the jump button as soon as you're touching the rope. And you'll get the fling. And if you did this level correctly, I like I said, I normally get a 47. 47 is all I really want to see out of the tutorial. It can be done faster if you look at the ILs, though. There are strategies far beyond the ones I'm showing you. Remember, spend as little time on these platforms as possible. Jump to the left. Jump close to the wall here so you don't hit any of these spikes. Fall right as you're falling down. Make sure you're holding right. Oh, I didn't get it. Make sure you're holding right. <laughs> Please, I'm holding right. Hello, input. There we go. <laughs> Hold right so you get the the, uh, the right fling off of that. Here you don't need to jump. You can just bounce over that. Get your fling across. Here I'm on cycle. Normally I would have to wait for that cycle. So just be cognizant when that screen scrolls over that you you need to pay attention to what cycle it's on. Don't jump into the spike. <laughs> We're good here. Jump left. And then again, jump left here. Every little time save you can get. Fall a little bit. Oh, didn't quite get it. Try again. Fall a little bit. Oh, I didn't do it, but it's fine. Come on. I'm trying to show this off. Fall a little bit and then get the launch, but I'm, <laughs> I'm getting weak. Weak flings off this rope. You can see the rope's not even moving. Here, just give me the fling. Let me through. <laughs> I'm going to wait for the cycle now that everything's off cycle. Up. Fling across. Keep on jumping. Whoops. You know, I'm just going to reset this because this level was terrible. I want to show you good run, not bad run. Show you good run, not bad run. I had good run just a second ago. Stop it. Let's try that again. <laughs> it has nothing to do with you, big. Jump off the left. Gonna jump over and then fall right. Fling on the rope. All you gotta do is hit the X button as soon as you touch the rope. You don't need to swing on the rope at all. And time these jumps so you can just keep on moving right. Wait for your cycle. And 
again. 47 seconds, what you want to see. Easy tutorial, 47 seconds. We only want to just be touching the edges of these platforms. Jump left. Wait till you get close to the wall, then jump. Fall right. Hold. <laughs> what is it doing this? Hold right. Thank you. <laughs> just run into that bumper. It'll bump you up just enough. Pulling across. See, now I'm on the cycle where I needed to wait. Again, get a little close to the wall before you jump. Left. And then left here. Saving a little bit of time. Fall a little bit and get your fling. Wait for the cycle. So you want to do this room in one motion. Up, bounce. Fling across. Bounce over. Wait for the cycle. Yes, exactly. You want to edge the platform. <laughs> Here, you're going to use momentum off the wall to fling over both of these. Wait for your cycle, though. And then hold right. Level two, we want to make sure we keep moving because we want to hit the cycle here at the very beginning. Fall down, jump at the middle, fall down, jump at the middle, and get on this cycle. That way we're in the box at 22 seconds. All of this self-explanatory, just go through the motions. Here, you don't want to jump quite at the edges, otherwise you'll overshoot these. Here, you can stop and just use the arrow. You don't need to go to the bumper. Fling over to this. Good to go. Whoops, accidentally fell too far. Fall and jump. I'm not going to go for the swag strike here. We're just going to safely swing across. Oh, didn't quite get that. We'll try for the backup. There we go. Fall down. So you make the cycle. Fall in the middle, then jump in the box. Wait for the cycle. Jump off the left wall. Gonna wait for the cycle. Just hold left and jump. I didn't have momentum. <laughs> you do need some momentum, but if you hold left and jump, you're good. You can just fall into these. You don't need to jump like this. Don't dance too much, otherwise you'll jump out of the box there and lose time. Here you do want to wait till the edge of the platforms to make these jumps. Alright, keep on schmoving in the beginning of level 3 and don't die, otherwise you're going to lose a lot of time. But also, you want to stay on the cycle with the whole stage is on. If you stay on the right global cycle for the whole stage, you almost never have to stop moving. I'll wait a little bit there for the cycle. We're good though. 
fall and jump. Whoops. Uh, uh, now I'm off. <laughs> fall and jump. Jump into the box. I lost seconds there, but I should still be on the global cycle I want to be on because of the uh, momentum. I pick up this note just because it doesn't matter. Just fall down. You don't need to jump, but you do have to jump there. Go under the spikes. See, I'm on the cycle I want to be on, so I never have to stop moving here. Now we get to this room here. Again, you're going to bounce twice on the green platform. One, two. That's level three. We'll keep it schmoovin'. Again, we're on cycle, so I want to keep moving. Slide down, jump, jump, jump. Wait. Here, you don't have to go for swag. As, as long as you are you don't die, you're going to be on the right cycle. Because you just want to hit this, which is on the right cycle. Then you want to fall down to the right. And then we're here before the 30 second mark when it opens up. As long as you stay on all those cycles, that that, that platform's always going to be on the right down there. So you can, do, you can develop muscle memory like I have. Where you always just do the same movement every time. You want to make this jump up here. Way easier. Then fall. You don't need to jump. And then again fall. You don't need to jump here. We're on cycle, so you can just keep on moving. And then jump as soon as you come out of these portals. When you hit each rope. As soon as you touch each rope, hit that jump button. So you can get the fling. Again, not much to explain there at the end. It's kind of self-explanatory. Once you get that last section, there's no way to really do it faster than that. That's just the way it is. Into level five. We do need to wait here. Don't get baited. If you go for it, you will fall on the spikes. You got to wait for that cycle. But now we can get moving. Top route, best route. As Z was saying earlier today, you want to top this level. Fall a little bit, then jump through the portal. Wait. Don't jump unless you know it's safe there. It's okay to lose a little bit of time. You don't want to reset that whole room. Remember to be patient. Just take this time that you need here. Stay on the cycles. Now again, you're going to build up momentum and hold right when you hit the box. So you get, in, you get this full launch off of it. I like to wait for the cycle here. So that the platforms are always like that. Now this is the fastest way to go up top. And go through here. And again, just don't hit that arrow. Just fall and then jump into this arrow. Mm -hmm. 
Now you're gonna go top again. Again, you wanna top the stage. Everything's top. And see, I even got a gold because I, I never take the top path on that route. <laughs> Proven, it's fastest to go on the top. <laughs> I always take the bottom route because it's safer, but top route, faster. Remember, we're just going to fall down this. Don't forget to dance in the elevator, but don't dance too long. Especially not right here, because you'll jump you'll jump again and lose time. Just holding right, holding right, jump. Remember to hold right. Otherwise, you won't get the full box launch. And you want to jump as soon as this is this there. We're going to fall straight through this. Right into that. Oh, I, gri <laughs> I gripped the side of that. Oops. Fling across. Yes, you can grip the sides of platforms. <laughs> That's level six. I'm gonna take a quick sippy. You wanna make sure that last jump right before, you, you, you're you jumping near the edge, but it's right before the edge actually. It's, it's, you don't wanna to jump too early, but also not too late. You gotta get a feel for that last jump. It just comes with practice. Again, I'm gonna do this safe. I'm gonna wait till this is in a neutral position and just fall down so I can get momentum for when this is open so I can safely bounce across. Left hand side. Keep holding right. All you gotta do is keep holding right. And then we're going to fling across the top here, coming out of the portal. You want to make sure you don't jump too early on these jumps. You can use that little bit of background music to time your, your jumps to. Jump at the edge here. Don't jump too early, otherwise you won't hit that bumper. I'm gonna stop and then go forward so I can be on the right cycle for all of these jumps and not have to stop. Into the box. And now all we gotta do is finish the level. Again, all of these jumps here, you're gonna wait till you're right toward the edge of the ledge, except for this one here. You wanna jump right in the middle.
All right. As you can see, we're right at 13 minutes for in game time. My sum of best now is sitting right above 15. My best possible, 1528 right now. So all I got to do is not die here or make any major mistakes, and we've got a 15. Let's do it. Hold left, and then right, and jump. Jump at the edge of all of these platforms until you're upside down. Here you're going to jump a little forward for the, before the edge to make sure you make that jump correctly. Ah, I accidentally jumped too early there. This is a very tight jump. You got to make sure you jump, jump that just right. Oh no. I jumped into that spike again. Well, the 15 might be in jeopardy. We'll see. Oh, yeah, it's definitely in jeopardy now. That was a lot of time loss. Ah, I'm jumping just uh, slightly too, too uh, early there. What is going on? Maybe I'm jumping too late. Let's try that. I might be jumping too late. Yeah, I was jumping too late. You want to jump earlier there so that there's less arc in your jump. Here, I'm going to hold a little bit on each rope to the right before I jump to make sure that I make the jumps. But that's also good for when you're trying to do the backup like this. Again, you're going to fall down to here. Just wait for this cycle. You can fall straight down, don't need to jump. Pay attention to the snare hits, because that's when these spikes come out. Like that. Hold left, hold left, into the arrow. So yeah, we're not going to get the 15 because I, I messed up that one room too much, but the rest of this is pretty free. You just got to make sure you... You jump every time there's a spike coming at you, basically. That's all there is to it. Hold right. Whoops. <laughs> I dropped my jump input. Make sure you're holding jump so you get full jumps off of these bubbles. And then jump off the very edge of this last platform. It's a very quick jump. Yeah, 16.32 in game time. 20 minutes real time. Again, you saw, had I not taken any deaths in that stage, it would have been a 1530-ish. It would have been a PB for me. So, good example of a run for you. Hope you enjoyed watching. I have been Soulmass218. <laughs> yep.
Yeah, I can't remember what time you had, Marie. It definitely was a 17. I think it was a low 17. Z got a 17.02 earlier today. Z's getting there. After watching what I just did now, I think Z's going to get a 16 very easily now. I think I've shown big a few things to get big's time down as well. And anybody else interested in watching again? 15 is not hard. All you got to do is put in the time. It, it did not take me all 171 runs to do this. I got a 15 around 100 runs in, but you could, you could probably do it in less because you've got this to, uh, to look at. So thank you for watching. I'm going to cut the video here. <laughs> thank you so much for watching the tutorial video.